First we're going to review some of the fundamentals of chipping demonstrated by Tiger Woods. Let's watch Tiger Woods and review some of the fundamentals of the chip and pitch swing. First let's notice his stance. His feet are closer together and his left foot is flared out just a little bit towards the target. He has shifted his weight more on his left side than his right side, so he is kind of leaning towards the target. When we look at his arms, they are extended and he has the letter Y formed with the two arms and the shaft of the club. Also, his hands are slightly in front of the golf ball so that he creates a shaft lean and puts the low point of his swing in front of the ball. In his backswing he has kept his arms fairly extended. He has hinged his wrist a little bit. You'll notice that he has turned his shoulders and it's the shoulder turn that moves the arms and the club back. He doesn't keep his shoulders in the same position as they were at the start and just move his arms back. He moves his arms back by turning the shoulders. Also notice that in the backswing he did not rock to the right side. He maintained his weight on the left side. He kept leaning his body towards the target so that the low point of his swing is still in front of the golf ball. This backswing is created not only by the shoulder turn but by the legs pivoting. You'll see that this left knee is flexing down. He's not keeping his legs static. He is turning his hips and his knees. Now we're going to look at Tiger's impact position. On the left I have Tiger right at impact where the club is just now hitting the golf ball. And on the right I have Tiger at the starting position. You'll see some similarities but you'll also see some differences. One of the differences is that Tiger has leaned even more towards the target. If you look at the angle in these legs, the lower legs here, they are slanted even further towards the target. So part of the downswing into the chip is this lean to the left. Also at impact, his hands are even further in front of the golf ball than they were at the beginning. He wants to make sure he has a shaft lean. He wants to make sure that his hands are in front of the ball because he wants to make sure that he hits the ball first on a downward swing. Anytime you hit a ball that's on the ground, you want to hit down into it. You want your attack angle to be downward. That means the low point of the arc has to be in front of the golf ball. As soon as the club reaches its lowest point, it's then going to start going up. And you never want to hit the ball on the upswing when it's on the ground. Now I have Tiger on the left at impact and I've drawn yellow lines to indicate the Y in his swing. The two arms are the top of the Y and the, and the shaft is, is the bottom of the Y. Pay particular attention to the angle formed by his right arm in the shaft the back of his right hand is angled backwards. On the right side I have Tiger several moments after impact. You can see the ball here up in the air. I have left the yellow line in its same place it was at impact, but notice that he swung the Y intact through the ball. The right arm and the shaft still have that angle backwards. So he's not flipping the club head past his hands. He swings his shoulders, his arms, his body through the ball in one piece. With these side-by-side -side pictures, I'm showing Tiger at the end of his backswing on the left and the end of his follow-through on the right. You'll notice in the backswing, he does have a little wrist hinge. He is has more angle in, in the arm, the right arm, and the shaft of the club. 
the back of his right hand is angled back. At the follow through, he still has the back of his right hand angled back slightly, but he has released a little bit the shaft of the club through impact. So there is kind of a what we call a hinge and hold. So he is hinging the club a little bit in his backswing and has a little bit of unhinged towards impact, but as soon as he has impact, he kind of holds that angle through. Tiger does not re-hinge the club back up in the air. You'll notice that the club head is above Tiger's hands in the backswing, but it is below his hands in the follow-through. So his follow-through is shorter than his backswing. I now want to focus on his leg action. In the backswing, you can see how his back leg has extended slightly and his left knee has flexed. This is because of, of a small hip turn in his backswing. And in the downswing, he has reversed that. He has turned his hips. You can see how his hips are slightly open here. His right knee has flexed and his left knee is starting to extend. That concludes this overall review of some of the fundamentals of chipping. Okay, Tony, let's compare your chipping form to Tiger and identify those things that you do well and those things that you still need to add to your chipping fundamentals. First, I like the fact that you have shifted more weight on your left side than your right side. Your legs are angled towards the target just like Tiger has. This is one of the things we worked on in our first session. Now you do see that your feet are a little bit wider than Tiger's and I would like for you to narrow your stance when you hit chip shots. So going forward we're going to stand a little bit closer similar to what you see in Tiger. I like the extension in your arms where you form the letter Y, just like Tiger has. I like the fact that your hands are in front of the golf ball so that you have set the low point of your swing in front of the golf ball, just like Tiger has. Very good. So the main difference in your setup to Tiger really is the, the stance. You're just a little bit too wide and I would like for you to stand a little bit closer together and this will allow you also maybe to stand even slightly taller, which will allow the ball to get a little bit closer to your feet. You can see how the ball is a little bit closer to Tiger's feet than yours, and that'll make the hand-eye coordination a little bit easier. Now this is the end of the backswing, and again, a lot of similarities in your, what you're doing here and what Tiger does. You have maintained your weight on your left side. You are still leaning to the left. You can see the angle in your leg just like Tiger has. That's excellent. You have turned your shoulders. And this left shoulder has turned downward. So you're not just swinging your arms back. You're rotating and, and you're pivoting your shoulders. Very good. You're keeping a good extension in this arm. Your right arm is starting to fold at the elbow, which is good. You're hinging your wrist slightly back here. Now Tiger's backswing is a little bit longer, but he had a different kind of a chip shot than you're playing here. So this is very good. Again, the main visual difference between what I see you do and what Tiger's doing is the, is the stance is a little bit wider. Now here you are at impact and you can easily see how you have maintained the angle in the back of your right hand. Uh, you have swung the letter Y through the ball just like Tiger has. Very good. You're, and you've maintained your weight on your left side. So you are definitely hitting the ball with a downward strike, which is very good. Here you are just after impact and you're hitting through the ball. And again, a very good position. Just like Tiger, you have maintained this angle in the back of your right hand. You haven't flipped your wrist through the shot. You've kept a nice firm arm swing. You have kept this Y going through the ball just as Tiger has. That's excellent. The only thing that is a little bit noticeable because it's uh, another layer of sophistication in the fundamentals which we'll be working on over the next few sessions 
is that Tiger will also let his right knee and right leg move a little bit through the shot, move it towards the other side. He'll pivot his hips and his knees a little bit in, a, in conjunction with the shoulder turn. But I intentionally did not want to uh, work on that piece of the swing in our first session. I wanted to really focus more on the hands and arms and how they should react through impact. And uh, that looks very good and you'll be ready now for the leg action of the chipping action. One other very good thing that I'm seeing here is how well you keep your eyes still focusing down here after you hit the ball. So as you swing through the ball, you didn't lift or turn your head. Tiger also is looking down 